Hi, I would like to share one of my longtime favorite breath work um, exercises, or it's more of a breath sound actually, um, and it is from Continuum Movement, a method developed by Emily Conrad. Emily um, did a lot of exploration and research with um, sounding into the body as a way of resonating with different tissues in the body and there has been research um, that she did at uh, UCLA where they proved and found out that that some of these sounds or a lot of these sounds actually do have a healing effect on tissues and and they worked with patients who had um, partially um, partial paralysis in, in certain areas of the body and through uh, regular sounding practice with continuum movement they managed to um, find movement again or they managed to slowly improve um, movement in, in the areas that were affected in the body. Um, and most tissues in the body are made up of connective tissue also the bone is a living organism that keeps growing there's cell renewal and um, throughout our life in the bone tissue in the bone structure and through this particular breath sound uh, the puffed o which is one of my favorites as i said um we can access the bone and we're going to focus on the vertebra on the bone of our spine <laughs> our backbone and we're going to travel from the coccyx from the bottom of the spine all the way up to the last um, cervical vertebra of the cervical spine and we're going to send a series of um, these puffed o's into each single vertebra and you can imagine that the sound travels from the center of the vertebra like a spiral outward into the rest of the body and okay how to do a puffed o you puff your cheeks as if you have a hot, hot potato in your mouth and then you leave a little space uh, in between your lips for the for the air to pass through and you send the sound to to the to the vertebra to inside of your body so um, you want to try and not um, create extra tension in the face or in the in the jaw so keep the facial muscles in the jaw relaxed but through the pressure of the air in your cheeks and uh, lips the tissues also get stretched and massaged through the through the resonance of the sound um, so let's let's just do a couple we're not gonna probably now have the time to travel all the way up to the spine but it's a very nice exercise and for me it creates a sense of um, spaciousness both within the the spine and in between the vertebra but um, a sense of spaciousness in my whole torso actually and has a kind of uplifting feeling almost a, a feeling of uh, floating but at the same time because of the extended exhales because of course we um, make the sound on the exhales and we prolong them and you will see if you do it for a while that you that that you the, you can prolong those those sounds um, for longer and longer um, this also has a very calming effect on the nervous system and um, lowers the heart rate these extended exhales and i find it's at the same time grounding but also uplifting so let's send some puff toes into the lower part of the spine to the lowest vertebra of the spine
-hmm. you can inhale through the nose or through the mouth whatever feels more natural to you to instead of um, putting force and pressure on the onto the vocal cords at the end of the tone when the tone kind of fades out naturally I like to just continue letting the air pa and pass through the lips letting all the air come out um, even if there's no more sound just to to go to the end of the exhale and then inhale again and it's really not about the quality of the sound it's not about making a beautiful sound it's more about the effect of the sound the effect it has on your on your tissue on your bone structure and on your nervous system of course and yeah on your on your emotional body as well so I hope you enjoyed this short introduction. I wish you a lot of fun and enjoyment with the puffed O's. <laughs>